एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस द नेशन सेलिब्रेट्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स बर्थडे ऑफ फादर ऑफ द नेशन कायद आजम मोहम्मद अली जना टुडे विद रिन्यूड प्लेट टू स्ट्राइव फॉर प्रोग्रेस एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ द कंट्री President has urged the nation to follow golden principles of Qaeda as Muhammad Ali Jinnah to cope with the prevailing challenges faced by the country. Christian community like elsewhere in the world is celebrating Christmas in Pakistan today. Felicitating the Christian community on Christmas Information Minister says protection of minorities rights is the top priority of the government. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir the APHC strongly condemning the upsurge in brutalities being committed by the occupying forces on besieged people has urged the United Nation to impress upon India to stop genocide of Kashmiris Iran says it has reached a good agreement with the International Atomic Energy Agency And now the news in detail The nation is celebrating 146th birthday of father of the nation Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah today with renewed commitment to work hard for progress and prosperity of the country. The national flag flying at all public and private buildings across the country. Quran Khani and a change of a guard ceremony was held at Mazar e Qaid in Karachi today. Commandant Pakistan Military Academy Major General Umar Ahmed Bukhari was the chief guest on the occasion. Cadets of Pakistan Military Academy assumed the charge of guards. A number of events including seminars, debates and exhibitions are being held both at official and civil society levels to highlight life achievements and different aspects of personality of the Qaidiazm. Radio Pakistan also broadcasts special programs, discussions, interviews and reports to highlight different phases of independence struggle and a leadership role played by Qaidiaz Muhammad Ali Jinnah. President Dr Arif Alvi has urged the countrymen to follow guiding principles of Qaidiaz Muhammad Ali Jinnah to make Pakistan a great nation. In his message on the Qaid day he said the father of the nation made the utmost struggle for the independence of the muslims of the subcontinent he said due to his tireless efforts capabilities determination and extraordinary character the qaeda azam materialized his dream of the creation of pakistan the president said in order to cope with the prevailing challenges the nation should follow qaeda's golden principles of faith unity and discipline interior minister sheikh rashid ahmed says pakistan can make robust development by following golden principles advocated by Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah talking to newsmen after visiting mausoleum of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah in Karachi today he said our national leaders are was protector of the rights of minorities the interior minister also laid a floral wreath on the mausoleum and offered fatiha in his tweet today director general inter services public relations babur iftikhar said Qaid's vision of a peaceful and progressive Pakistan and his principles of unity, faith and discipline are imperative for our success of a nation. The founder of Pakistan Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah made a concerted effort to get Kashmir liberated from India's illegal occupation because he considered Pakistan incomplete without Jammu and Kashmir. A report released by Kashmir Media Service on his birth anniversary today said Qaid Azam's commitment with the people of Kashmir was indefeatable. The report said Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah vociferously condemned the Indian aggression on Kashmir by looking at the miserable conditions of Kashmir is even when there was no one else paying heed to their hues and cries it maintained that the father of the nation had rightly declared kashmir as pakistan's jackal of vain and was determined to go to any extent for freedom of kashmir this is radio pakistan Christian community of Pakistan is celebrating Christmas across the country today like elsewhere in the world in churches special services are taking place where prayers are being offered for peace progress and prosperity of the country congratulating uh, the christian community on the occasion of christmas punjab chief minister usman buzdar said 
Christian community will be provided an opportunity to celebrate the joys of Christmas in a free and peaceful atmosphere. In his felicitation message, he sent the Governor Imran Ismail lauded the role being played by the Christian community for the development and progress of the country. Pope Francis, leading the world's Roman Catholic into Christmas, has urged people around the world to look beyond all the lights and decorations and remember the neediest. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhary Fawad Hussain, says protection of minorities' rights is the top priority of the incumbent government. In his felicitation message on occasion of Christmas, he said, Christian community played a pivotal role in strengthening, developing and uniting Pakistan. Chaudhary Fawad Hussain said services of Christian community in countries' different sectors, including education and health, are laudable. Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is also Premier Chairman of Pakistan Tehreek Saab, has announced a new organization of the party. In a tweet today, Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhary Fawad Hussain informed that Asnumar will be new Secretary General of the party. He said Pervez Khatak will be President of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Ali Zaidi Sin, Qasim Khan Suri, Balochistan, Shafkat Mahmood, Punjab, while Khusro Bakhtiar will be the President of South Punjab. The 116th Midshipmen and 24th Short Service Commissioning Parade was held at the Pakistan Naval Academy in Karachi today. According to Pakistan Navy spokesperson, Commander Royal Bahrain Naval Force Rear Admiral Muhammad Yusuf Al Asim was the chief guest of the ceremony. Naval Chief Admiral Amjad Khan Riyazi welcomed the chief guest at his arrival. Speaking on the occasion, he expressed the hope that graduating cadets will be a source of pride for nation by following the footsteps of martyrs and ghazis. Later, the chief guest distributed awards among the best performing cadets. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has strongly condemned the upsurge in coded and search operations during the cold nights and days to suppress the freedom sentiments of the people of the occupied territory. The APHC spokesman, in a statement issued in Srinagar, lashed out at the Indian Occupation Forces for their inhumane behaviour towards the besieged people during the military operations. He said occupied territory has been turned into a big jail where the inmates are forced to live a life worse than the life of convicted criminals. The spokesman urged India to shun its stubbornness and accept the ground realities pertaining to the Kashmir dispute. He condemned the authorities for not allowing the Muslims to offer Friday prayers at Jamia Masjid Sirinagar since 5th of August 2019 and termed it a brazen violation of religious rights of the Muslims. The APSA spokesman also urged the United Nations Secretary General to impress upon India to stop genocide in Kashmir and allow a free and fair plebiscite in the territory in accordance with the United Nations Security Council resolutions. <coughs> The head of Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, Mohammad Islami, has stressed his country's nuclear activities are within the framework of the International Atomic Energy Agency. In a statement, Mahmoud Islami said Tehran's nuclear power program aims to support the country's industrial production needs as well as the needs of Iranian consumers for certain goods. Earlier, Iran and Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahini said that Iran has reached a good agreement with the IAEA. On the first day of the five-day Qaeda Azam Trophy final match against Northern Pakistan in Karachi, Khaybe Pakhtunkhwa were 153 for the loss of three wickets a short while ago. Earliest, Northern Pakistan won the toss and chose to field first. And finally, the weather. Rain and snow is expected in Balochistan, Khaybe Pakhtunkhwa, Potoha region, central and south Punjab, Gilgit, Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 12 hours. However, fog and smog is likely to prevail in few plain areas of Punjab during night and morning hours. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live, live, live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.